Hello my friend, so you are troubled with your low end PC and it just crashes time after time and you are thinking to break it into pieces. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. In this video are 5 tips to optimize editing with a low end PC in Wondershare Filmora. Coming up. So your very first tip my friend, I've been there, I know how it feels. The first rule of this game is to edit in low resolution. Instead of editing in 4K or even the Fumora's default of 1080 HD, you must go at least to 720 HD and set the project frame rate even to 30 FPS. It's tolerable. So after you edit in low resolution, you can be a little faster and then on the export, you set your preferred resolution. Now the first tip is not enough without the second one. You must create proxies. What does this mean? When you import a larger file like a 4K video, Filmora will create proxies for that particular file. And that means you work with that file with a lower resolution than it is. Just go to file then preferences. Right here you go to the performance. And right down here when you activate this option, Filmora will automatically create proxies for every video that you import which is larger than the resolution that you can choose here. You can choose the lowest one so that you can edit every clip in that same 720. Going on to the third tip guys, so here I am going to teach you how to manage and to work with your cache files. When you go back again on the files and you go to preferences, here you find out the media cache. And as an example, when you look on my PC right here, there's a lot of files on the backup files, prox files, preview render files, temporal files, and this whole stuff is filling my drive for no reason. And by the end of the day, it slows down my PC. Just for example, if you know that you don't make much time on the same project, you can set the maximum number of the days that you think you need for a certain project to be done with it, and then you allow Wondershare Filmora to automatically delete the backup files for every project after that certain period. Now on proxies, I would advise you just to visit this, just to visit this preference tab and clear from here, rather than an automatic delete after you close a project because you may come back to the same project. And now on the preview render files, this is very bad especially for my PC, you can see how big is the storage that is occupying right here. I think I have to be serious with this. I completely set it to automatic delete and of course you have to re-render your project when you reopen it. And the temporal files is the same as the backup files. I would like it to delete automatically on a maximum days that I can make on a single project. And then when you are done, hit apply. Oh, I'm sorry guys, let us go back to the preferences for a fourth tip. And again, back on the performances, right here you see on the first option of GPU and here you can turn on the GPU to help your processor in the process. You can check it from here or just go to start. And as you can see here, when you restart your Wonder few more, then the GPU will be activated. The next tip guys from the list of today, oh, it is the last one. This has something to do with your preview. Having a preview of your editing can be a hard thing on a low-end PC. And if you can notice the technique, what Filmora does when you select the option to render your project for a smooth preview, then you can take it further. When you render a project for a smooth preview, it reduces the quality. Now you can take it further just as I have said by going here on your preview quality. And here you can choose maybe half or a quarter so that you will be still able to see what you are editing and at the same time making it easy for your PC. If you like the content, subscribe and don't forget to check the latest episode right here.